Hello people and welcome to another tutorial here from Betwixt Games. I'm Matthew Burke and this time we're going to be covering 3D text and a common problem that happens when people use it. Now 3D text is very easy to use and it's great if you have a very limited development time and let's say you're doing a game jam or you're trying to make a rapid prototype. It's great for uh, passing information to and relaying that information to the player very easily. It's um, not nearly as complicated as creating a full UI, but if you're going to make a full game or release something or have something as a, a showcase, you probably want to go ahead and, and learn the UI tools and make a full UI for your game. But for right now, um, we're just going to cover 3D text, and it's pretty easy to use. Um, it used to be you would go into Game Object and there'd be a Create Other 3D Text that's been removed as a 4.6, I believe. So now what you need to do is create an empty and add component, you can do it either here, text mesh, or you can go you know, up, mesh, text mesh, second option. Both very easy. You need to assign it a font, so in this case I'll give it default Arial, and um, it will come up invisible unless you write something, obviously, so uh, I'll just do the same thing. And yeah, see, there it is. But we won't worry about that for now. So right off the bat, you can probably tell there's something wrong. It's very blurry and there, there is a way to fix this. You just have to be aware that um, it's going to happen when you use 3D text. So uh, let me give a better example than Arial. Let me drag in this um, font that I downloaded from Google, uh, Eutima. I don't know. I don't know how they pronounce it. Uh, see, this is a perfect example. It's very, it's cursive. It's very loopy. It's very artistic, and it looks horrible right now. And it looks great. Uh, if let's say you put it into Word, it looks great. So what's going on here? Uh, the problem is, is that the font size when you import it is only 12. And when you're using 3D text, it needs to be almost, it needs to be at least 90. Now, I have another font because I want to show you an example side by side. See, font size 90. The font that I have in there is only 12. Um, this does increase the file size, however, of the TTF file that you imported into Unity. You need to be aware of that if you're concerned about size or you have like a, a rule for your game jam. Um, you just need to be aware that it does increase the file size. I don't believe by that much, but um, you should just be a note of it. So let's go ahead and call this new one um, 3D Text 2. Uh, we'll go ahead and add the text mesh. There we go. Do the exact same. Oh boy. So that's what happens if you don't have a, a font already selected. I think it's lovely. I think we should stay like that. All right, so let me add the second one and you're gonna notice a problem. It gets huge and it's still blurry. Um, so what you need to do is go up to here, make it the size that you imported. See how it's nice and clean right there, but it, obviously it's way too big. Um, and still a little bit blurry. So what we can do is go in and make this, we can actually scale it like a regular game object. Um, actually it needs to be smaller than that even. So it's huge, right? It's still big. Um, you know, you can work out the math on uh, how to get the correct scale. So that's about right. It's a little bit still too big, but just looking at it, you can tell right off the bat, it's so much cleaner, easier to read, and um, just much higher quality. And that's what you need to do. You need to make sure that the font size in here and the font size on the actual imported file are the same. Now, you can't even, you can go crazy with this. You can make this, um, let's just double it and make it 180. Uh, it's, and it's gonna become pretty much invisible unless you actually go in and make it like this and then scale down even more. Oh, uh, she's a scaling tool. It's probably not even, but whatever. See, there you go. Uh, very, very little, little pixelization unless you get really, really close to it. And um, that's what you want to do. Uh, and that's pretty much it. That just, that gets a lot of people, um, 
early on they'll, they'll put 3d text in and then they won't realize till too late that it's blurry after you created your build um and it's a very easy fix it's just you need to be aware of it i would honestly recommend having multiple different versions of your font at different font sizes so that if you do create a regular ue you don't want it to be 180 you just want it to be 12 that's fine um and that's about it uh if you have any questions please comment uh, if you have any suggestions for tutorials, please comment. Again, I'm Matthew Burke with Betwixt Games. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, um, or go to betwixtgames.wix.com uh, forward slash games. I think it is. The link's underneath the video. Just click on it. so much easier. Um, and if you want to support us a little bit more directly, uh, we do have a Patreon page. One dollar a month is all we need, and I can keep churning these out, keep making videos. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Please comment.